it really has been a new revolution and the paradigm for treating blood cancers, all of them, has really changed. In the past, we've had a handful of drugs for a number of diseases, and it was really a one-size-fits-all kind of concept. But now we realize that every tumor, just like every person, is a little bit different. And we want to have a whole range of drugs that is really better for each individual person and use those drugs very precisely. Genomic profiling a laboratory method used to learn about all of the genes in a person or in a specific cell and the way those genes interact with each other and with the environment. Genomic profiling can be used to understand why some people get certain diseases while others do not, or why people react in different ways to the same treatment. That's just the idea of precision medicine, to identify everyone's unique profile and use a therapy that's targeted exactly for that after it's been determined by the genome sequence. Ultimately, that should reduce things like side effects that are a major problem. It should increase response rate. Some people will respond better to some drugs than other. Some tumors will respond better to some drugs than others. Genome is really the sequence of DNA that you have in your cells, and most of the sequence in your DNA is really very similar from cell to cell. And now we have very powerful machines that can take your DNA and sequence it, obtain that sequence in minute detail very, very quickly. The Mulligan Research Lab at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital uses genomic profiling and experimental modeling to investigate how genetic factors may contribute to the formation of acute leukemia. Most notably, high-risk acute lymphocytic leukemia in children. We're at the point now where we can start to sequence patients at the time of diagnosis, which we'd not previously been able to do, and immediately identify particular patients or particular types of leukemia for which we strongly believe there's a, an available targeted agent or, or a new therapeutic approach that can be carefully matched to an individual patient. So once we understand the underlying uh, molecular drivers for these uh, cancer, then we can do targeted therapy to kill right down to where things went wrong. We're at an opportunity now where we can move beyond the traditional non-targeted, often very toxic therapy to a new horizon where we can use this genomic information not only to identify new classes of agents and new drugs that might be effective, but to tailor them to their individual tumor. There is patterns that can be recognized by computers a lot more effectively than the human eyes. And this is where we need to figure out how to get an, uh, developing a mathematical approach to tackle the data. So instead of having human read each lines, you let the computer read them. In the next few years, we'll have an even better understanding of the genetic basis of leukemia and related disorders. So we have a very strong foundation of that research-based genomic profiling that will then be used to guide clinical trial design. The next big advance, I think, will be the routine use of genomic sequencing for all patients at the time of diagnosis. And that will be very empowering, not only for the doctor, but for the patient themselves. Hematologists are pioneers in genomic profiling, but sustained support for biomedical research is necessary for continuing this promising work. The studies are large, they're expensive, they require these large collaborative networks that are very difficult to fund from small grants or individual institutions. We need a lot of support from our funding agencies, both private and public funding sources. I have had my lab for almost 20 years, and this is by far the most exciting time of the field. And now we have new tools that we can deploy this information in new, creative, and powerful ways. I do think that we are getting closer than ever before to making cancer a chronic illness, and there is potential cure. Now is the time to invest in the National Institutes of Health to launch the field into the next generation of care for hematologic conditions.